This is a very nice subwoofer for the price. I will say it is a bit larger than some will lead you to believe, but considering other subwoofers that take up more space, this works nicely. If you are in possession of a very good set of speakers, the Polk Audio subwoofer can add to it nicely, so much so that a receiver is not necessary if you don't happen to have one. It has its own back connections, so other speakers can be added to it from the subwoofer itself. Sound-wise, it gives a nice clean thump and adds to the overall home theater experience. The only con I can find is that the buttons to adjust the bass are at the back, and a volume control on discreetly on the front or side would have been a big help so make sure you position is right so it can be. The best part, though my speakers are JVC, the JVC remote can turn my subwoofer on and off with the click of a button, which is nice. All in all I am pleased and would highly recommend it. Update for 2013 still going strong. I have had it since 2009 and I love it, and use it daily. The sound the bass puts out with the clarity used to get me in trouble with my neighbors and my wife would complain it was too loud when we were in an act, now we are in a house, and I can enjoy it turned up all the way with very little feedback. P.S. Batman Arkham Origins sounds awesome pumping through this thing. I still highly recommend it. This thing is a tank. Update. It's another two years later and still going strong, even as my audio components around IT change. I bought this used from Amazon Warehouse for about $30 less than a new one. There was absolutely nothing wrong with it other than it looked like an open box slash returned item. It sounds incredibly great for the price. My room is approximately 16 by 20 by 7 and this is plenty of bum. I love bass as much as the next guy, so if I had more cash and more room I might gotten a 12 incher, but it really wasn't needed for my room size anyway. As you can see from the pictures I added, I also have a Polk CS1 center and a Polk Monitor 60 fronts. I am in the process of getting four Polk Monitor 30s to use as surrounds to get the full 7. One in my room. That room is going to be the place to be. I will be sad every time I have to leave it. I liked this subwoofer for several years as it gave good base for our apartment when I put it next to our sofa. However this year it started with the dreaded thumping when it was off. After a lot of laziness, given I didn't give myself much hope as there are a ton of surface mount items used in it, I opened her up and replaced several of the larger electrolytic capacitors and she's back to life. I posted about it on my blog, hesiod.blogspot com slash 2016 slash 01 slash how to fix humming on Polk PSW 111. HTML the repair was fairly involved due to all the goop Polk puts on the circuit board but if you have soldering experience I suggest trying to replace just the largest capacitor and working from the larg. Click link in description for more reviews.